Hey Google, bench on. Choosing songs is only available for YouTube Music Premium subscribers, but you might like this station. No! Yeah, he needs me. Hi, I'm Matt and this is Not Enough Tech. I'm a little bit excited, but before we're gonna jump into the video, a bit of a warning there, I'll be calling Google Home and my Amazon Echo, so if you have those devices nearby, you better put them on mute just in case. So, um, recently I've got a tip of Happy Cats on Twitter that there is a special service that you can use with uh, Google Home devices, which basically allows you to add Nodra devices in a very simple way to uh, your Google Home environment. And the service is mostly free. Free as so you can use up to four devices for free. And then if you want to have more, uh, there is a kind of pay as much as you want service, which is much appreciated. But I think this uh, service needs highlighting and it's called a G Bridge. And uh, what it does, it's gonna be probably the most unspectacular showcase ever. But let's just roll with it previously. If I wanted to control a lamp like this, I was probably limited to Amazon Echo devices only. This is not a smart lamp. It's an eight pound lamp from Tesco. Well, it's technically connected to 8266, so it's maybe smart, but not that kind of smart. But thanks to Node-RED's integration as a skill in Alexa, I was able to add it as a device and control it very well. Alexa, bench on. Just like that, it simply just works. Now things got a little bit more complicated when it came to a um, my smart Nesta-like thermostat for five dollars, which you can watch in here if you're interested. Winter is coming. Now I would be able to set up simple controls via um, IFTTT using Google Home. However, I would not be able to query the temperature and do similar stuff. So something else was needed and thanks for uh, thanks to G bridge I'm able to not only control the devices easily just with a simple couple of nodes in Node-RED and uh, service G bridge in a Google Home app the device itself is listed in a Google Home so I can control it from from the Google Home screen so let's turn it off and obviously I can query it hey Google is bench on the bench is off there you have it. So how does it work and how to make it happen? First, navigate to Gbridge website and create your account. In account, before you start creating the devices, just go to my account and set up the password for MQTT. You're going to need this to correctly set it up in your Node-RED. Once you've got that, you can look up the docs to go through the setup of the Node-RED and MQTT. Uh, this is well explained, there's no point of me going through this, it's just follow the instructions, copy and paste all the settings and you'll be just fine. Now when we have this set up, just go to devices and create a new device. Now in a new device you're going to have plenty of options, you can select the uh, device type and the options that are available on this device. Now, you can also set up security information when setting up the device. The interesting part of it are the action topic and the status topics. Take a note of this information because you're going to need it in Node-RED. The name might be confusing at first, but it's named what it is, so I'll explain that everything in Node-RED. Once you've got this installed, head to the Google Home app to add your devices. Just click on Add and then Set up new device and then click on Works with Google. In a list, just look for the G-Bridge, like here, and you'll be able to add your devices. When you're done with this, just head back to Node-RED. You will see that I've got a couple of things set up already in here. First of all, before this, I was using Alexa to add my devices. I would use Alexa node, change the payload to what's needed and use MQTT with my local uh, server to turn my ESP devices on and off. The process was very simple and I was able to also query the devices by setting off the outdoor knowledge and pulling the information just like I did in my video about uh, the thermostat. Now the same now can be achieved with uh, Gbridge. So in here you'll see the same setup that I used to control my light. So instead of using Alexa node I've got Gbridge MQTT 
in node which is configured correctly and then I only change the um, payload to a compatible because it passes a one and I want to, uh, to submit on and off and then send that to my local MQTT uh, so I could toggle it. Now this using an action topic so action topic is for the action on the device so when you issue a voice command the action is being sent to that device. Now there is a second topic is the status topic and what it does basically it gives you a feedback from the device so if I'm gonna change the device and toggle the device you'll see that the feedback appears in an order and you can use that to process all the flows. Now if you want to update uh, the state of the device in a Google Home app when the device is being toggled from a different source so for example let's say you're going to use Alexa to turn on the device and you want the Google Home app to know the device is on and display it correctly you need to link both together so you're going to use again status topic in here and my device my MQTT device posts to that MQTT topic the status and that status is formatted actually correctly for this so whenever the light changes it updates um, the Gbridge and Gbridge will know uh, what uh, was the last toggle status so when you ask your Google Home um, to tell you the status of the lamp it will display it correctly. Now this middle bit isn't necessary but if you want to set up Alexa and Google Home controls for your light that's the setup you should go with. It looks like I'll be using Google Home a little bit more often now. My next step is actually figure out how to make the Alexa talk and I have a couple of leads that I'm willing to try and see if they work so stay tuned if you're interested in that. You might consider following me on social media because I don't have a posting schedule. Every time I'm gonna post something it's gonna be on one of my social media for sure so if you want to be updated just follow the links in the description of this video. So thanks for watching guys and I'm definitely gonna see you in the next video. Take care. Bye. Is bench on? The bench is off. Okay, turning the bench on. <laughs> okay, I have three phones in here which uh, responded all together and every phone did its own thing. <laughs> hey Google! Hey Google! Apart from that, the device. Uh, uh, apart from that, the device. Nah. Apart from that, the device actually controls. It's way too early to make videos. <laughs> it's not even 9 a.m. <laughs> Alexa, turn bench on. Alexa, bench on. Oh, my node red is down. Uh, isn't responding. I know. Please check its network connection and power supply. No. Uh,